Have I told you that I love sitcoms? Well, the thing is, I really, really do love sitcoms. Sitcoms are my happy place when I'm not in a mood to actually watch a movie and to just watch TV for like 20 to 40 minutes. And here are underrated TV shows that I really love. Some were cancelled too soon and some people haven't even heard of. At number 9, I have Happy Endings, but this one was set in Chicago. It also has a fantastic group of friends, but they changed up a few things in the characters to make it different from How I Met Your Mother and Friends type of shows. It's just a fun group that you might think shouldn't be friends, but they are, and that's what makes it unique. Because we can be friends regardless of our differences. At number 8, I have The Middle one of the most relatable TV shows if you grew up in a middle class family. The show ran for a, a really long time. I think it had 8 or 9 seasons. It seems like most people I know didn't actually watch it. And if you get the chance then go check it out. It's really funny. The characters are so relatable. The stories are so interesting. Because there's something in each episode that I feel like I've lived through in my life. Next up. I have Cougar Town, another great, really weird sitcom that stars Courtney Cox and it was just so much fun. You might think this show is about cougars and in a sense it might be, but it's just about weird found family and family as a whole. It's such a funny show that I think it deserved a lot more love. They had unique storylines that I haven't seen in other sitcoms. If you can go check out Cougar Town, then definitely do that. Next up, I have Undeclared, a Judd Apatow series that got cancelled after one season. And that is such a shame. It was a really fun show that starred some up-and-coming actors like Jay Virgil, Charlie Hunnam, Seth Rogen. And it was set in the dorm room of a college. It was about kids starting college and just entering the adulthood phase of their life. I feel like the show had so much potential, but it was cut short. The great thing is that many of these actors went on to do some great movies and TV shows in the future. But the show could have gone on longer and maybe there is a possibility to continue it or to reboot it, but to still set it in the early 2000s or the 90s. Next, I have another show that was executive produced by Jad Apatow, and that's Freaks and Geeks. This show starred a few A-list actors before people even knew their names. It starred Linda Cardellini, Seth Rogen, Jason Siegel, John Francis Daly, Busy Phillips, uh, Martin Starr, and James Franco. It was set in the 80s and basically it had two storylines. It followed the geeks, which were these nerdy guys interested in Dungeons and Dragons and comic books and stuff. And the freaks who were the outsiders, the cool kids. And the main character was played by Linda Cardellini, whose brother was part of the geeks group. But she wanted to be part of the freaks group. It's a wonderful TV show and unfortunately it also got cut after one season and it's technically not a sitcom since it was an hour long TV show but it had a lot of things that made it feel like a sitcom because it was a comedy show and I really hope that you've checked it out even though it's only one season it has a really really awesome one season. Next up I have the league I don't know, I've never talked to people about this and whenever I brought it up no one even knew it was. It was about a group of friends who ran a fantasy football league. And it's also because of this show that I got into It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because I saw an ad after the show for It's Always Sunny. It's a fun show that it's a bunch of adult guys acting like kids which is basically what most adult guys do. So if you want to watch a show that feels relatable but is super funny and a little exaggerated then this is the show for you. At number 3 I have Life in Pieces which also got cancelled too soon. It followed one family but it's split into different pieces. So there's an A story, a B story and a C story usually and in the end it all comes together. It's like Modern Family but without the mockumentary style 
and it had some really really cool episodes that i just can't stop thinking about i really wished they gave the show a good conclusion but it got cancelled on sort of a cliffhanger number two i have the detour which is a weird but funny show it follows a family on vacation and during this vacation things just seem to go wrong all the time and some family secrets come out we've all probably seen clips from this show uh, where the judge is ordering people to be orderly in court and <laughs> the boy thinks they are taking orders for food it's a fun show it's really funny and you should definitely watch it if you can and finally i have superstore a show that you've probably heard of or seen and we also know we're getting a south african version of this show it's a show that was so much fun and it ran its course which is great it came to a satisfying conclusion but i do think the show needed more love and if you can find it on any streaming service then go check it out it's definitely worth the watch what sitcoms do you think are underrated